Hi YouTube friends, how are you? So today I'm going to be sharing my favorite products of the month of November. So I love watching these videos because it's where I get to find out what people is loving. So I am really excited to shoot uh, this video for you guys because I have really really great finds and I wanted to share them with you. If you're new here, my name is Angie. I hope to stay and subscribe to my channel for more beauty videos. I upload three to four times a week and without further ado, let's start. Alrighty you guys, so let's start with moisturizer because it is super super cold here already. It isn't winter yet, it isn't supposed to be outless and it is super cold. So anyway, I'm gonna put a picture up here because it's actually upstairs in my room. I use it every single day, every single night and I just can't live without it. Um, and I just got to try the cucumber scented one, so I'm talking about the first uh, first Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I bought like the bigger top. I love that then. I used to have like the, um, the squeezy uh, tube but it didn't have a scent and now that I tried the cucumber one I think I'll never go back to the regular. Um, it is super super nice whenever I put it on. It's just like super moisturizing and also with people that has um, eczema or like really dry patches I think that thing is like a life savior. Uh, I live for it and so I wanted to give it a good mention if you've never tried first uh, a beauty I think you're missing out uh, they have great great products so that's definitely my favorite product of the month that was like the standout uh, so I wanted to give it a good mention and for primer I wanted to mention my Fendi hydrating primer this thing is just amazing it just feels like um, skincare to me uh, the scent it's also super pleasing um, and I don't know, I love just putting that thing on uh, before my makeup and it makes my foundation last a little bit longer so I really really wanted to give uh, my Fenty a shout out. I know it isn't a new product or anything, I've tried it and I've mentioned it before in my channel uh, but I wanted to make sure I mention it again because it's like my favorite thing. Um, and then for complexion, I have to give again... <sighs> I have to give it to NYX man, like Born to Glow foundation. This is where it's at. Super affordable, super long lasting. It just like looks like skin. It's super natural. But if you want a glam look for the holidays, you can't go wrong with the can stop one stop. So these two are always in my vanity. I use them all the time. I use the shade beige. If you haven't tried these babies, you're missing out. Like these are super affordable and they're like amazing and like the born to glow compares to my Anastasia one which is one of my favorites again I've been using it non-stop since I got it is a 335 W this foundation is life for me but the newer one that just came into my life and now it's just like taking the place of every single foundation my Shiseido self refreshing synchro skin self-refreshing oil-free foundation. I wear Citrine 360. This baby, I did a full um, a review on it and I just love this foundation. It is amazing, you guys. It is supposed to like self-refresh throughout the day, like look super natural. Um, it's supposed to like just mix with your oils and like I don't know, do is thin and then look like you just put it on. And also, it's supposed to like help whenever you're making like facial expressions. It's not gonna sink into your fine lines. It is like the best thing ever. Um, I think I need to try their concealer because I have a little like you know those fine lines underneath my eyes. And I am Hispanic. I'm always like tucking in my hands. I'm making like so many faces, and like this doesn't settle on my smile line. Every single foundation I own does that but this one doesn't so that just sold me on this like to be honest I can never go back to not having this foundation I think it's the my favorite foundation of all time um, so I wanted to make sure I told you about it you should go and check it out I got it a month ago during the Sephora sale and it was all sold out I think people is like grabbing onto this so I think you should too like please 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 check it out I'm gonna link my review below and you're gonna see how it applies and how it wears on my skin for like 12 13 hours I can't remember how many hours I wore it for um, but yeah this is pretty amazing
A newer product for me is this one by Cogen Do. It is their natural lighting powder. Um, I got it um, a few months back, but I never got to try it until like recently, like maybe two or three weeks. And oh my God, you guys, this powder is amazing. If you're on the hunt for a setting powder, I think you should check this one out. It looks super natural on your skin. It just like melts. Um, it will never look cakey. It just looks super natural and I like it because it has a little bit, oh, it made a mess. Um, it has a little bit of a tint. So if you can see, um, and I think it's amazing. Um, it sets my makeup really, really nicely. Uh, I don't like to wear a lot of powder, so I'm really picky with my powders, and that powder is like, wow. I am so, so impressed. Um, so that's been like my go-to uh, these days. And also my Hourglass uh, Veil Powder. This one is also the same. It's super like, it's just like so natural. It just melts onto your skin. You don't ever look cakey or like overdone. Um, so I really love powders like this. Like my Huda, sometimes it makes my face look a little bit heavy, but this one like, these two are like life. For uh, face palettes, I have two to show you. I have two to mention. Oh my God. If you're in the hunt for holiday palettes, if you're a face palette lover like I am, everything in one, you need to check out the Unlocked palette by Hourglass. This baby is stunning. Every single shade works with my skin tone, which is unheard of. Um, every time I, I buy, you know, palettes like this, I like at least one powder don't work for me. No, this baby, everything does. Uh, the blushes are beautiful. The highlighter is amazing. Like, look at this. It lasts on my skin a whole bunch, like at the end of the day and my highlight is still there. I love, love this powder. I love every single powder and this one I've been mixing to set underneath my eyes and it just brings so much light um, to my under eyes that I'm like obsessed. Can we do it right now? Like I'm always looking for that highlighter effect and I find that whenever like my under eyes are looking a little bit too dull. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but you guys, this is stunning. And it will never kick up my under eyes. Hello, like it's stunning. And then another one is my Charlotte Tilbury um, Instinct Palette in some looking palette. Um, and so again, this one you have everything in a palette. The highlighter is in uh, the best choice for my skin tone, uh, but I'll, I'm willing to put up with it because it is stunning. The shades are super blendable. I get really nice looks uh, whenever I use this palette and they're like, you know, you don't have to think about it too, too much. And the blush, <laughs> when I mix that cheek pop with that swish, it just does something for my cheeks. It's just like super, super pretty. So I am in love with those two palettes. I am so, so impressed by them. I A highlighter, also by Charlotte. I mean, she just kills it. Like this highlighter is amazing. Like it is just so natural. It is so golden. It is so blendable. Look. It just disappeared it just melts literally it just melts onto your cheekbones like I can't stop using this thing I am so 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 happy I got it I hope she makes it permanent because I mean why would you do it for just the holidays like why this isn't fair this should be permanent um, and also an affordable one if you ever underhand for um, a golden highlighter is this one by elf I don't know if my um, Whole came before or after this video but I've been trying this for maybe a week so I'm cheating a little bit uh, but this is what it looks like look at that so stunning also super golden are these dupes no the charlotte is just a little bit more gold this one is a little bit more icy but on the skin you can tell the difference um anyway these two golden highlighters, super affordable. This one by e.l.f. It is their collab with Nabella. Um, I love, love this highlighter. And then again, uh, the Charlotte is just stunning. All right, guys, let's move on to eyes. 
I have to mention my Mercury Retrograde palette. I know my review wasn't like super super positive and I was a little bit on, on the fence. Um, I wasn't sure what to think of it. I think that I had to work really hard with these shades and I still think the same thing. But every time I use it, I just come up with stunning looks. Like I just can't help it. I am so drawn to this palette and every time I use it, I am so pleased with the looks I come up with. I, I love it. I love this palette. I think it's worth it. And then Tati's palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this and I know, I don't know if it's back in stock, if it's still on like pre-order, like I don't know her deal uh, with the palette, but oh my God, you guys, I am so drawn to this, even more to like Tati, like for sure, even more than Huda. Um, it is just easy, you know, it is just like no thinking, required <laughs> if i'm like a monochromatic kind of girl so i love not monochromatic looks and like i have it here i don't know i just never had a palette where i never like i just go down the road and then i'm done you know what i mean it's just like so easy um it is so user friendly like it blends really nicely i am wearing another eyeshadow palette but i have her glitter you know wear it safely i know it isn't safe for the eyes she says it um, but i've worn it so she had a video posted a few days back and she worn only that shade the aura shade all over her lids you know just like pat them all over your lid and girl it looks stunning i did that i wanted to see it for myself and it did that and it is super super pretty i am in love with tati's palette i wasn't sure i was gonna love it as much as i do but i i do man it is so so good i can't recommend it enough if, if you can get your hands on this i think you're not gonna be disappointed at all um i hope that she comes out with more because i'm waiting to see what she has in store i know she said that uh she has um new releases i think for black friday so i am like so anxious and waiting to see what it is um but anyways i am i am super super happy i was able to get it on the first go and yeah i love that this beauty palette all right guys and now to finish off i'm gonna talk about lips and uh, i have three to mention too super affordable i am into nudes like at the moment i can't stop wearing nudes and i was never a brown kind of nude uh you know like a beige kind of nude i was always like a pink kind of nude and now i'm like i'm over it um, that's not the look for me anymore i'm like okay no i cannot do pinks in my life i no i cannot anyway this one is uh the collab with again so it is from elf it is uh Nabella's club and it is a stunning shade that's what I'm wearing right now all over my lips and I line them up with her lip liner which I'm also gonna do a swatch you guys if you've if you haven't seen this collab you're missing out look at that brown it reminds me of Max uh, lip liner because it is a little bit stiff, you know, like you really have to, it pulls a little bit on your lips, but I'm willing to work with it because it is long lasting though. So, you know, it's gonna make uh, my lips super pretty brown, like so yummy. I am so into this brown lip liner and I've done this all, um, just uh, throw my lips and it is pretty oh actually when i say that i have to mention my l'oreal uh lip liner it is even back here you see because i'm always using it this one is the shade um 112 it is matte uh it is their color rich matte lip liner this one is a little bit more pinky so this one up here but this one glides on your lips like this one isn't drying like the off one is uh no 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 that one just glides over your lips and it is stunning um and then i have the same color rich matte from l'oreal in the shade 114 um and this one is a super nude a little bit a little bit more brown so it's this one up here. 
So the first one is 114 and the second uh, is 112. So if you're looking for a more brown 114 and if you're looking for a more pinky 112, you can go wrong with those L'Oreal um, lip liners. They're super long lasting. And then a new discovery for me is this one by CoverGirl. It's their 24 hour matte. Um, yeah, in the shade a 610 Hustler. Um, and again, <laughs> it is a nude, but this one is it is it's quite nude on me actually um so it's a little bit peachy um it looks so you see that so i just put it at top of the novella novellas you see that it is super beige it is super nude but it is so pretty and it lasts on your lip when they say 24 hours i mean of course it isn't gonna be on my lips for 24 hours but they do last a long time so i am gonna check out more of these cover girls uh 24 hour lipsticks i only grabbed the nude um but i want to check those out because the formula it is super creamy and it is so pretty last one um it is so close to my heart and i am so tempted to get so many of these natasha denona i need a nude but again like if you find stuff at the drugstore like why would you pay you know like this is so pricey um i don't know this one at top here is yana so these i've been wearing non-stop absolutely you're able to see that this one is a uh, more taupe so it's a taupey mauvey kind of shade uh so it's super super neutral on my lips and these ones are more you see like more brown or like more uh peachy but nevertheless all these nudes you know all different all so similar at the same time but so so stunning um yeah i'm wearing nudes i've been wearing nudes all month and i can't stop um i am obsessed i don't really wear lip glosses to be honest i'm just into my mats and that's all i like um and then i have this one here since we are this why not i have it here in my vanity you know so then you know i've been using it um this one is so dark look at that one so it is a super brown color it is from elf it is their coffee liquid matte lipstick this is what it looks like in a glass frozen frozen whatever you know what i mean um yeah brown this one is super comfortable again the formula is super light you don't feel it on your lips that much um, and it's tanning brown though i am so much into these browns okay can i i should stop Alrighty, you guys that's it for today i hope you enjoy my faves of the month of november please let me know what you're gonna do for thanksgiving if you're in the states happy thanksgiving to you and your family so leave me comments down below let me know what have you been loving for the month of november also thumbs up this video if you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe for more beauty videos and i'm gonna see you in my next one bye